to visit the Circle P Ranch General Store, well, your first challenge is to find it. It's tucked away hundreds of yards from the main road, and there's no sign to let you know when it's time to make a turn. Well, just look for the covered bridge. As soon as you come across the bridge, you feel like you step back in time. And even if you don't know what back in time is, you get to experience it real quick. The store was a longtime dream of owner Rufus Page, who didn't just dream it, he built it. I just wanted somewhere for my friends to come, play card, play uh, music. I didn't have no blueprints, no design, no nothing. And we just came in here and built it. And this is his dream that he's had um, probably as far back as he can remember. And I think his family could probably speak to that probably better than I could. But, you know, this is things that he's brought together. Many of the buildings that you see out here in the front and around, uh, he's brought onto the property. And, of course, this building he built from the ground up. That's Greg Coles who manages the Circle Peak a place that's part soda fountain, part deli, and part store full of Amish-made merchandise. The centerpiece is a chrome 1906 Imperial Universal stove, once used to heat up a hotel in Chicago. Nowadays, it adds to the warm old-time atmosphere that's a big part of the charm. Hungry visitors can enjoy everything from fried bologna sandwiches to burgers all fresh and cooked to order in the kitchen. A lot of the sandwich places uh, will load you up on bread. They give you the hoagie rolls and things like that. But what we've done is develop sandwiches that uh, go between white bread, wheat bread, or sourdough. We keep it simple, but we make very good, wholesome sandwiches. Uh, we use the best meats that we can buy. Uh, so we have the deli there, but then we've also incorporated a grill top now. You know, back in the day, the, uh, the soda shop hamburger was something that people always liked. And so uh, we developed that, and again, it's. Uh, it's what we call not rocket science, but it's one of those things you'll find the qualities there every time. So we grill it up as you eat it and as you order it. We started up a meat and three, and it's going over really well. And so we offer not only with the deli menu and the grill menu, but they can have an offering of uh, Monday meatloaf, for example, or Friday catfish, and then the meat and the vegetables that go with it. And again, it's all from scratch. Those that save room for something sweet are the lucky ones, whether they choose homemade pie or a handmade milkshake. They scoop it out of the freezer. They make it up with the syrups. So they make it up with the fruits that go in it, um, the old-fashioned mixers that we use. And so it, it becomes a really special treat for somebody. And that's one of the things that when they come in the door, uh, we introduce them to them. We say, you know, we make it from scratch. And that includes the ice cream, the milkshakes, the pies, the cakes. So you're going to experience it all. Impromptu music is often on the menu here. On our visit, Roots music artist Luke Bell and Matt Kimman played downstairs. While a local dulcimer club strummed away upstairs. Well, we've got folks that, that come in and they play dulcimers and they play banjos and fiddles and. Uh, the guitars and, and I envy them that they can do that so at best what I do is I like to sit there and enjoy it and so it, it really makes for a good atmosphere. Of course it's great background music for shopping in this part of the store full of Amish goods to go. You see it's everything from the Amish jellies to the smoked cheeses and meats and uh, hot sauces uh, they procured them from Scottsville Kentucky and also from Millersburg Ohio from the Amish communities there. So they're distributed down, they get them on a weekly basis. So everything is uh, obviously fresh, it's canned and uh, jarred the old fashioned way, which is, is how the Amish do it, which is why it's so popular, I guess. Uh, but we keep a selection here that's probably as good or better than anybody around right now. Decorating the store was an easy task for Rufus due to his longtime love for collecting old stuff. I've been collecting antiques for 40 years. Everybody calls it junk, but I, I call it treasures. This entire tract of land is full of treasures, once abandoned structures that Rufus rescued and relocated to his property, the exception being his home. The house I live in, built in 1779, it was the first Presbyterian church in Wilson County. Uh, it was a land grant from George Washington. By the way, that signature covered bridge out there is a story in itself. It's a one-lane steel bridge. Uh, came out of Fayetteville. Uh, a friend of mine uh, saw it on Craigslist. 
And I, I went, went down and got it and built head walls and set the bridge on it. And I said, well, I'm gonna cover this bridge up. So I just went in there and put a top on it. Rufus Page is a mild-mannered, unpretentious kind of guy who's creating his own Americana village of sorts. And you can believe he loves sharing it about as much as he loves creating it. When he gets his mind to something, he takes it and moves with it. There's only one Rufus.